Hey guys, today we have Cyclops from the Astonishing X-Men. I'll be honest, I'm not a big comic book reader. I mean, I wish I was because I love them, but there's just no time for that. Not anymore, man. But uh, I do love the characters. I love the figures. I love every iteration of them, even if I don't know who they are. So here's the box. If you like boxes, cool. This is a cool box shot. So that's my thing here. I'm trying to show you close-ups and details that maybe you don't really get to see in the other reviews. So tell me if I'm doing a good job about it, yeah? Thanks. The sculpt looks really nice, except for a few parts. Like right there, his bicep, it's kind of weird that the way it's cut, like his bicep into that joint. <laughs> I don't know, I can overlook it because it's not a like Moffex, it's not supposed to be this super expensive figure. His ankles, they kind of look like cankles to me, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Am I being too nitpicky? But you know what, overall, I like the sculpt and I, I thought I was gonna have very little to say about this because there really isn't much to him. But I do have a lot to say actually, maybe not in this video though. You see, I recently uh, reviewed the Moffex uh, Cyclops and I was really underwhelmed by him for various reasons. And here we have a Legends figure that looks really nice. Doesn't art it's not as articulated as the Moffex, but it's got other things going for it, and price is one of them. But let's look at his head sculpt. This is something that's kind of weird to me. They have this red beam. It's removable, right? You can take it off because that little what is it like red? whatever flare going on there it it's th it's stuck on there so when you remove it this is what you get it's, it looks weird empty but if you move the light you can see that behind him is red but it doesn't show up unless you light it up so you kind of have to have it on and that little piece of plastic is going to stay on besides that I think it looks fine. That little red piece of plastic doesn't go in all the way, but it's so minimal, man. You'd be really nitpicky if you're complaining about a tiny bit coming out. Cause right there, the way it looks, it looks fine. Tell me if I'm wrong. Doesn't it look fine? His head, his face, it just looks good, I think. Yes, there could be more shading in the red. Yes, there could be a little bit more shading on his face, but actually on his face, I think it looks good. Maybe just the red part, but you know what? It's it's a $25 figure, man, and he does almost as good as some of the $105 figures. His head articulation, pretty good. It's not the best. You know, you would not expect it to be on the level of the more expensive figures, right? So his arms, they move up, they sigh, they swivel, they do all kinds of things. Oh, his arm came off. I did it too hard. So here he is here with the elbow bend. That's pretty good. The swivel there. I feel like with the butterfly joint right there, he should be able to move a little bit better, but he doesn't. It's to me, it's just kind of almost standard Hasbro Marvel Legends. This is kind of what you get. So what is it? 95% of the time he's going to be on your shelf. Does he look good enough to be on your shelf? I think so. I, I, I think so. Um, the other 5% of the time, maybe he'll be taking photos of him. Uh, and maybe at that point, you might struggle a little bit because of his lack of articulation. But if you pose him in such a way and prop him up with wires and then remove the wires in Photoshop, You'll get some cool photos off of him, I think, and you won't have to spend 105 bucks for a Moffex. And so I really think that's what I'm going to do because I feel so strongly about the Moffex being so overpriced that I have to have a comparison video on on that with this Cyclops and like two or three other Cyclopses that I've got. So yes, that's coming up in the near future. It would help me though if you guys tell me you actually want to see that. Look at that gold trim. I think that looks pretty cool. At first I thought it was just painted on him, but then when you start like feeling and holding the figure, you'll notice that it's not just painted on him, it's actually sculpted onto him. And you can actually see it a little bit right there. The, the way it's sculpted, it looks really nice. I really like it.
So just about the only accessory he's got is an extra pair of hands. These are his standard punching hands. And then he's got his uh, classic two finger hands with, so he's shooting his visor, which I think looks good, but something tells me that they're a little big. It just looks a little big, but I mean, you gotta be really nitpicky at that point again, but I think it looks fine. What do you think, right? So again, guys, I am somebody that's a wedding photographer, but I can do video too. And that's my whole thing here. I am trying to show you all the close-ups so you can see in detail the figure so that you can make a decision here. Is this the Cyclops I want or is it that one or is it that other one? Which one do you think is the Moffex here? Here, you tell, you guys tell me. You probably know already because duh, how, how could you not? Which one is the Moffex here? And which sculpt do you like better here? Honestly, look at them carefully. Tell me which muscular body you like the best. Not the color of the outfit or the version of Cyclops, just the body. Which one do you like the best? Look at their torso, look at their legs, look at their butt if you want to look at that. Which sculpt do you like the best? And then tell me which painting do you like the best? Which one has the best shading? Because that's important. If the Moffix is worth 105 bucks, it should be vastly superior. And I just don't know that it is. I really don't. You tell me guys, I really want to know now, for real. You know I was considering not doing the pricing for these figures because they're all roughly around the same price. What I found interesting is that he's not really available anywhere except one place. Which happens to be where I got him from, so <laughs> that's good. He's $24.99 on Entertainment Earth, but he's not available. He's also $24.99 on Hasbro Pulse, but he again is not available yet, which is weird because they're the ones that make him. So if you're okay paying a buck more plus shipping, then you can get him from Big Bad Toy Store. This is where I actually pre-ordered him from. Uh, it turns out that I pre-ordered him from the right place because they got theirs right away it seems and the other ones have not. Um, I think he's worth the money. I like how he looks. Uh, I can get him to pose. I, there's definitely a lot of things that you can fix about it, but uh, compared to like how expensive some of the other Cyclopses are, I think it's okay. 26 bucks, I can live with. He's 25 on Amazon, but he's not available there either. So you know, if you want him right now, go to Big Bad Toy Store right now and order him before he sells out. Apparently, thanks for watching, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks.